Hi guys, um, I'm Beauty Mahamani. I'm a third year medical student at WITS. Um, and I got in through the web program or the jump program. Um, so I was raised in Bumalana. My whole family is originally from KZN. So um, basically, um, <laughs> from the rural areas of Bumala, which is around Marit and Pushpakich. So, my whole journey to medicine wasn't an easy one. Um, I believe if I calculate well, it had been seven years since I've been trying to get into medicine. Um, so, my results from metric, um, for me, they looked fine. Um, I got um, level 6 for my physics, level 7 for life sciences, level 7 for mathematics, and um, level 6 for the rest of the subjects, as far as I can remember. Oh, and level 7 for life orientation. Yeah, it's, yeah it was three level 7s and the rest were level 6. So, with those results, I actually thought I stood a good chance to get into medicine the first time. And I had applied to Medusa, Pretoria, um, Cape Town, and Stellenbosch. Uh, with Medusa, they never got back to me. It was a whole charade of me waiting for response and not getting any. And then with the University of Pretoria, it was a whole thing of me not having Afrikaans in my subjects, which I didn't know how that mattered, but yeah. And then when I went there to inquire, uh, the story was now different. It was, okay, so your online application uh, didn't go through and stuff like that. So I just let it go. And then Cape Town told me they don't have space or something like that so it was a plain reject and Stellenbosch was the same thing so I'm guessing my results were not good enough so uh, after that whole not so successful journey to getting into medicine I decided to not sit at home I, um, I actually had heard about getting into medicine uh, from that year so I went to um, universities nearby to try and get in so I can apply for <clears throat> or so I can be able to have a degree that I can use to get into medicine and the first place um, that was just a bit convenient because I knew people who had already applied there was Val University so this was around January I'm supposed to be enrolled already but I'm busy trying to find a place to study. So I went to Val University to try and get um, some clarity on what I can study in order to be able to qualify to get into medicine. And then I chose Biomed. The only problem was um, the Dean of Biomed had filled uh, the whole faculty. So it was like, so full in biomed that she couldn't even take me she she was okay with my results she was like more than okay with my results but the problem was she had already um, put too many students into the program and now they were asking her to like do something reject others if she had to so i decided okay um I'll just take the next best thing because I was told it's easier to change subjects or courses when you're already within the university than staying at home and then applying again for the following year. So I decided, okay, I will uh, take chemical engineering, then next year go to biomed, of which that's what I did. I went to biomed, studied the whole diploma of biomed, and um, at, the, at the end of the degree, I got a cum laude. So, um, okay, so I know I've, I've, I've been asked by people who haven't been to university yet what is a cum laude, so I'm just going to say it for those who don't know. 
a cum laude is when you pass your degree with a distinction. So 75% and above, that's a distinction, that's a cum laude. And then a summa cum laude is when you get 80% and above. So for the diploma, I got a summa cum laude. And then I went to UJ to study BTEC, um, to study my BTEC in biomedical technology. This was because a diploma wasn't enough to get into third year medicine. So I went and did my BTEC honors and I got a cum laude, not a summa cum laude. So yeah, I got a cum laude. And then uh, from then on, during the same year, that was 2018, I applied to the GEM program. I got accepted and it looked like everything was fine. And then um, I got invited to come and write the web. So as I was trying to prepare for the work, I actually noticed that it's a lot of work. It's, <laughs> it's so much work and I was still studying my BTEC. So now I have to study for the web and study for my BTEC. I got the invitation around uh, June and I was going to write September. So now I started studying immediately after I got the, the invitation. I started studying. It was a hell of a lot. I had to balance that with my honors. It, it was so much work. It wasn't even funny. I wasn't sleeping properly. But I had to get into medicine, so I continued studying, making sure that I still study for my BTEC as well, because it's no use if I pass the web and fail the BTEC, I won't be accepted anyway. So I continued to study, and I passed my BTEC with um, cum laude, and I failed the web. <laughs> so that wasn't fun at all. And then now I had to decide on what to do. So I decided to go for my internship. I went for my internship. I started working at Lancet Laboratories at Richmond. And then as I was working there, that's when I, um, that's when I applied again to the web. And then now I had to study the web and balance the web with <laughs> my board exams because in biomed you have to write your board exams and, um, now I'm trying to do that with the web. I still struggled through, but I did it. And this time I passed the web. And the board exams were actually scheduled for the following year, March. So I passed the web. Uh, I was so happy. I had gotten into Stellenbosch, but it was first year. So that wasn't exactly what I was looking for. But if I had not gotten accepted for third year medicine, I was gonna go for first year medicine. It was just a no brainer. So I went, uh, I got accepted into medicine. Uh, then I started the registration process in January of, um, of 2020. Only to find out that we are supposed to start on the 6th of January, which means I have to quit before my internship contract is even close to ending. So now I'm in the middle of a job and trying to balance med school and trying to study for the board exams that are coming around March. So now um, I decided, okay, you know what? The best way is to quit my job. So I quit my job and then I stayed with the board exams and uh, would study uh, with my, my first uh, block for medicine. So whilst I'm studying for first block and the first block exams, I'm still studying for <laughs> I'm still studying for the board exams for medicine. And then I finally got to the part where I had to write my board exams. I wrote my board exams, passed my first block, and managed to pass uh, my board exams with a distinction and being uh, um, I was top eight nationally. And I know that's too much information, but I'm proud of that part. <laughs> but yeah, so I pulled through, I got in, and it was so pressurizing. It was too much pressure, but I loved medicine, so I had to do it. So on the day of the web, 
writing the work, it was not fun. You hear people and what they have studied and then they mention stuff that you didn't even go through or you don't even know about. But some people are just, they study extra. So it's not like it was on the syllabus or anything, but they just feel they had to study that. And now they're talking about it and they know it and you don't. And you just feel like, oh my God, I'm going to fail this thing. But it's not always true. So my advice to becoming jumpers is when you write your web, don't not everything that is said by everyone is actually on the paper so don't listen to anyone don't try to revise everything then because it's not gonna work out it's a lot of work to cover what you know is what you know and that's it and the other thing is if you fail once it's it's not a big deal you can do it again and again and again there's no limit to it so Just keep on fighting for your dream and make sure at the end you get it because that's the only way you'll be happy. That's the only way you actually be comfortable with your job, doing what you love. So I think that's it from me. Bye guys and all the best with your studies. Our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated. And this week's shout out goes to Ryan Zondi from Pretoria University, Zining Mnieni, Nicholas Zondo from University of Zululand, Simpiwe from Rhodes University, Wendy Pamela from Rhodes University, Gosindi Pile Miandu, and last and definitely not least, goodness CP Wimbogas. Thank you.